Hello everyone. Um, I had David Burliok. Um, here's a picture of David. Um, he was born in July of 1888 um, in Samarivakia, which is located in the Russian Empire. Um, David was a Russian and Ukrainian poet, artist, and book illustrator. He was also associated with the futurist movements. Um, he can often be described as the father of Russian futurism. From 1898 to 1904, he studied at the Royal Academy in Munich. And in 1907, he made contact with the Russian art world. He met and befriended Larnovo and they are both credited as being major forces in bringing together the contemporary art world. In 1909, Berlioz painted a portrait of his future wife, Marisa, on a background of flowers and rocks on the Crimean coast. Many times after that, he would create paintings of his wife on canvas. According to Berlioz, he had two dreams that had his heart all of his life, the face of his wife and the portrait of his homeland. This is a picture of the group Hiaya. This is the second group that David brought together. The first one was named The Link. David organized the exhibition for The Link, but because no one knew the painters, it was a major flop. David tried a couple years later forming the futurist literary group Hiaya, which was initiated in 1910 by David and his brothers, and soon several other artists joined the group. Soon afterwards, the group would morph into literary Cubo slash futurism, the predominant form of futurism in Russia. This group always had an air of scandal about it. The artists would walk around in public wearing ridiculous clothes and painting their face. This painting is one of Berlioz's most famous. This really shows off his futuristic style. This painting is now housed in the Moscow Museum of Art. And the name is Futuristic Woman made in 1911. In 1913, David was expelled from the Art Academy, but that didn't stop him. David and his brother illustrated Kamginsky's Tango with Cows, as well as David wrote his own book, The Support of the Muses in Spring. And this is a little bit of the illustrations from the Tango with Cows. In 1917, David's brother was killed in World War I, which led him to flee Russia and begin his journey to the United States. This journey took him through Serbia, Japan, and Canada, finally arriving in the U.S. in 1922. The inspiration for Berlioz's later career is found in his love of vitality in all of its forms, biological, psychological, and cultural. Whether he was painting his native Ukrainian steppe, Japanese landscapes, Long Island fishing villages, or the streets of New York, he searched for the energy that vibrated and flowed through scenes. They suggested the existence of hidden patterns just below human perception. In 1962, he and his wife traveled to Australia, where he held an exhibition at Moortown Galleries, Brisbane. It was his only Australian exhibition. During his stay there, David Burlock painted some sketches and works with Australian views. From 1937 to 1966, Burlock and his wife Marisa published Color of Rhyme, a journal primarily concerned with charting Burlock's activities. Here you can see a picture of all of the different issues that they came up with. Um, and Burlock finally passed away on January 15th, uh, 1967.